Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome, guys. This is Shah Fahad Khan. Okay, so as most of you might know me now, uh, because I've been making videos for quite some time now. Okay, so now today the topic of my videos is a very special one, and it mainly appeals to the MBBS first-year students. Okay the fresh students who just entered MBBS or who will be entering MBBS, inshallah. All right, guys, so foundation module, if you have made it into Dow, congratulations, or you are related to Dow or Dow Medical College or DUHS, um, any affiliated college, so this is for you. So let's get started. And the related colleges like JSMU or KMDC, etc., they also have a similar um, syllabus, so let's just go through this quickly. Okay. So foundation module guidelines, I myself am enrolled at Dow Medical College, Karachi, okay, and I'm from the batch of D25. So let's get started with the subject of anatomy. Okay, what does anatomy mean? Just anatomy actually uh, refers to three major branches, gross anatomy, which is right over here, which we'll be talking about in this video, histology and embryology. Okay, so now gross anatomy that we have. This is a major subject of foundation module and foundation module, by the way, is um, just more like a startup plan for you guys during your MBBS, okay? So it's more like the basics to be covered over here rather than the major details and the overview of almost everything that you'll be doing later on in your first year in a lot more detail would be, um, briefly summarized in this module, okay? So let's look at it. Okay, what does gross anatomy actually means? Anatomy means the study of structure of the body, okay? And as you know, you might already know this. And if you are interested in the field of surgery, then definitely this is your subject, okay? So let's continue. Okay, so books as I have uh, uh, outlined in the video, which I made on MBBS books, I did the uh, name these three books over there as well. Bailey Churasio's Handbook of General Anatomy. This is a specialist book for foundation module. This is the only book that you'll be using throughout your foundation module. And this is the book that you'll be using only for your foundation module, by the way, not for any other module because in other modules, you need a lot more detail, which should be covered from either KLM or Grace. Bailey Churasio's detail for those um, modules isn't that sufficient, okay? But over here for foundation, this is the best book that you can have. Okay, oh, all right, so this is how the cover page and I did show it to you in the previous videos as well, the link to which I have given already in the description. Okay, so Bidi Churasia's Handbook of General Anatomy, this is the best book that you need to follow. You have to actually, um, this is more like um, this size, okay, a very small book and it is the, yeah, uh, the size of a novel, basically, the cover page looks like the size uh, is almost equal to the size of a novel. But uh, in addition to BG Chirasia, you definitely would have to take your lectures. Okay, do not miss any lectures, do not risk it. And also give a read to the slides, okay, lecture slides, which are there, you definitely need to do them because you you will see a lot of stuff covered in the slides on your exams as well. Okay, and these are essential, many questions are on the exams and uh, these slides are important, okay? And secondly, a lot of stuff, especially for anatomy is conceptual. So you do need a teacher to explain it to you. Otherwise you'll be left for only YouTube to study. So uh, although YouTube is actually a very, very amazing platform to study from, you've got many, many informative YouTube channels over here, but still um, you definitely would not want to miss any single lecture of anatomy, okay? Especially Dr. Sabah at Dow, she teaches amazing anatomy, okay? So uh, especially the conceptual part of BD Chirasia, and we'll be going through the content in just a bit. Now, all right, just a bit of advice from me. This is in solely from me, okay? Not from anyone else. And this is just my opinion, okay? This is not a fact. This is our opinion, and this is not a hard and fast rule as well. Some students, they use KLM or Gray's anatomy, and 
of course because klm and grace are actually far far longer and far better than bd chaurasia but not for the foundation module rather for the entire first year mbbs okay for foundation module specifically you need to use bd chaurasia as uh, it is very precise very concise i'm not saying that if you will study klm or grace you won't be able to make it through your foundation no i'm not saying that klm and grace will definitely help you score a very very perfect score on your foundation module as well but the the difference is that klm and grace are far more extensive and you don't have that much time during your foundation module so because there are lots of other subjects and this is in fact a very very long module so you definitely would want to save time wherever possible so this is one place where you can save time by just studying bg chaurasia's handbook of general anatomy and um, keeping these books for the other modules okay and yeah there is um, there are a few things that you have to look from these look up from these books as well but i'll come to the, those in just a bit okay so they use um, klm or grace for foundation module i won't recommend reading these right now because um, for the foundation module just for the foundation module uh, they are too much to do okay for topics that you find difficult you may refer to these books because these are more of like more of explanatory sort of books and bd chaurasi is more like a concise knowledge based book but again for explanation purposes or stuff that you find very difficult you may um, refer to these books or you may refer to youtube okay youtube is a very very amazing platform to study your mbbs from but of course not the entire mbbs but lots of other uh, stuff are there on youtube okay uh, klm and grace only for the difficult topics but not for mainly for the foundation module you just need to stick to be handbook and they'll mainly be used during the later mods now let's move on to the next part okay Uh, and as i mentioned earlier that is a very long module so short books like bd handbook are recommended okay the short book doesn't mean that it's an easy book okay it's not an easy book if you give it the first read you might not be able to understand full of it but um you definitely need youtube or you definitely need someone um like a teacher to explain it to you okay so you definitely would want to take classes okay do not skip any class and do study from the handbook for the handbook you need the classes and the lecture slides okay and long books um would require more time students use long books are more likely okay uh, more likely not to finish off their syllabus before exam okay so that's why short books are emphasized during the foundation module uh, but only during the foundation module okay this doesn't mean that you start reading short books throughout your year you need you definitely need the basic sciences the long books to make your concepts clear okay so now let's go through briefly through the topics that you'll be doing in anatomy do for your foundation module okay anatomical terminologies these are covered in the very first chapter of bd chaurasia okay during introduction anatomical terminologies planes positions movements these are conceptual topics and you definitely need to study them either from youtube but you need to learn stuff from bd bd is more like a notes notes sort of stuff okay you have all the everything written down over there and you could make concepts from youtube make concepts from some or even you can make some, a few concepts from bd as well and then you can learn the stuff in bd okay and then these are um, a brief overview just an overview of the major systems of the body which would which would be of course studied in a lot more detail during your first year okay musculoskeletal system will return back in the locomotor module and it will be studied in a lot more detail over there but over here we only have an overview and you definitely have a lot of questions from musculoskeletal system in the foundation as well nervous system is a very it is one of the major portion of your foundation module and nervous system needs to be done very very nicely although neuroanatomy and um everything related to the nervous system it's in second year the very first module neuroscience of second year i'll be doing that right now in my second year but for you guys in your um first year the neuroanatomy given in bd that's enough that's more than enough and you need to do that very very nicely because there are tons and tons of questions from here on your f uh, foundation module 
Okay, you can you can definitely look up the past papers, links to which would be provided to you when you uh, come here at DAO. But uh, this is an important chapter. Okay, you definitely would not want to mess this up. Circulatory system. Well, circulatory system isn't uh, that important over here because it would be covered in a lot more detail in your blood module. But still, there are questions on your FPS uh, foundation, not not FPS, sorry, on your foundation module, but um, you definitely want to do this as well. Okay, do not skip it. There are MCQs from here. And lymphatic system, of course, it's uh, the same thing, circulatory lymphatic, um, like similar interrelated topics. And then integumentary system. Uh, integumentary system would be covered in a lot more detail during your foundation module, but in histology, okay? In histology, I, I did it from Laik Hossein Siddiqui, um, the best book, uh, which I found, I, I mean, only in my opinion, okay, people, uh, opinions might differ, but histology would cover the integumentary system in a lot more detail, but do read it thoroughly from here, from BD Chaurasia as well, so that you might find it easier to read it from there, or do it from there first and then come back here, because that's more like an explanatory portion in Laik Hussain, and it's a bit more like bullet points or, or concise information here in BD. Then moving on, okay, this is uh, this part that I gave you over here, um, this portion preface to the first fourth edition and first edition, um, this page has been taken from the fourth edition of BD Chaurasia, okay, because that's the only PDF I could find online, um, but uh, um, the books that you might get from your um, shopkeepers, you might get the seventh edition or maybe the eighth edition might also be there or, or the fifth edition. Uh, but there's not a very major difference in between these books, okay? So don't, no need to worry. Okay, from these topics over here, you don't need to do this 10th chapter, okay? Principles of radio, uh, radiography, this can be omitted because there are no questions at all from here. But if you look at introduction, you definitely would want to do that, okay? And that's an important part. Why am I saying that? Although you might not, oh, definitely, there are a lot of questions from introduction as well especially the terms, the planes, and all of that stuff that's covered over here. Okay, now uh, an important part, there's a lot of historical data given over here in this chapter. The historical details of this chapter, they are to be uh, omitted, okay? Because um, the historical data has not nothing to do with you guys because there, there is no question and it's not even a part of the syllabus. So you can skip that out history of anatomy, history of that, history of this, etc., etc. You don't need to do that. Just come to the, um, the language of anatomy, okay? There's a part called language of anatomy. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, history of anatomy, it's right over here. This portion needs to be omitted, okay? You can read it out of curiosity, of course. If you want to, you may, but there's no such need to do it. Now, after this, if you look at the skeletal system joints and nervous system these are the three majors from here okay you need to do these very very nicely i know i know they would be time consuming i agree they would be time consuming you might need to, uh, one to two days for skeletal system one to two days for joints one day maybe some of you might do all of these in just one day in a few hours. But again, if you want to learn them very, very nicely, so you might want to spend a little more time on them. So, but these are the major topics, okay? And there are tons of questions on your foundation module from here, from the skeletal system, uh, skeleton basically from joints and from the nervous system. Skin and fascia, as I told you earlier, they'll, uh, they are covered in a lot more detail in histology, in lycosan. Uh, then muscles is also related to skeleton, musculoskeletal system. So this is also important. Okay. Cardiovascular system, not as important, but since it's a very short topic, so you may do it. Circulatory system basically has been covered over here, but cardiovascular system, CVS, there's a separate module on CVS, cardiovascular system. You'll be doing that in a lot more detail over there rather than here. So there, there aren't a lot of questions on CVS, but still there are questions, so you need to do them. Lymphatic system, uh, in the blood module, it will be covered in a lot more detail, but still you need to do it. Then um, nervous system needs to be done. It's very, very important, has a lot of questions. 
skin fascia will be done in histology connective tissue ligaments and rough these are all uh, this these topics are interrelated to the skeletal system so yes again these are important okay and after this principles of radiography and there, there you might find another chapter called genetics in there uh, you don't need to do that okay genetics can be skipped entirely okay no need to worry genetics uh, you may skip genetics anatomical words meanings etc well that's not that important okay um after this let's just come to the last advice every subject is interrelated to one another in medicine so of course you'll find the same thing in more than one subject so you can this this would be helpful for you guys because you you'll feel as if you are doing the same subject again and again rather than doing multiple different subjects okay for example you might find this uh, skin and fascia over here in anatomy and you might find the same thing in histology and so it it would be like um doing the same doing the common topics from both of the places would help you to do the same topics in the other subjects a bit faster okay so this was just a relaxing point for you guys i don't know for how many of you might have found this good but still this was one thing one piece of advice that i wanted to give and that's it for your anatomy of mbbs um in the next video we'll be talking about physiology most probably or pathology or something like that okay so stick around and thank you